Hi Aquarius, I hope you're all doing really, really well. So we are going to do a general love reading for Aquarius in Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is going to be for mid-October to the end of October 2021, and it is general, so it's not going to be everybody's situation, but you can check out one of your other signs, one of your person signs, or you can book a personal reading. All that information is in the description box. All right, Aquarius, what is going on for you? Mid-October. All right, we have metamorphosis. All right, so really big changes. So yeah, okay, it might feel like there is something really big that is happening in your life or maybe just a lot of smaller things, but like a lot of them and all of this is adding up to a metamorphosis that is happening for you. All right, and this could even be in a love situation, all right, more specifically, but it could also be just in general in your life or for your person. So let's see. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Second half of October. All right, Aquarius, let's see. Well, it does look like there are some major things that are happening here. All right, okay. Whew, it's looking a bit on the deeper side. Um, definitely a lot happening for you here. So, let's take a look before we clarify. Starting off the reading for the situation, we have the Four of Pentacles crossed by the Four of Cups. All right, so two fours here, if that means anything to anybody. Um, I feel like there's something that you've, something that you're holding on to, or maybe the both of you, you and another person here, holding on to, but holding more, it's more like holding back from each other. It's like you're holding on to like your own beliefs, possibly holding on to, you know, what your own rules might be concerning a particular situation or con concerning relationships or whatever. And I kind of feel like that is actually holding the both of you in a state of feeling like we're not happy. But that's because it's like the both of you are kind of holding back. And it's leading to um, like just feeling unsatisfied, basically. For the recent past, we have the Queen of Swords. All right, so maybe somebody was a little bit stern here. Maybe somebody was a little bit strict or just very, very firm. Um, maybe more so than what they meant to be. Or, you know, maybe there was some regret with this. Okay, just judging by the, the current energy. Um, for you, we have the Queen of Cups in reverse and the Devil. Okay, so I, I can't wait to clarify this. I feel like, you know, there's a little bit of um, emotional instability on your end here. Like you're just feeling a little bit emotional possibly, but to the extent where it's actually making you hold back. I actually feel like it's a vicious cycle that's going on here where it's like the more that you hold back from how you truly feel, whether it be when it comes to expressing these feelings to this person or even just allowing your own self to fully feel these emotions, the more you do that, the more you hold back. But the more you hold back, the more emotionally unstable you feel. So it's like the one causes the other and it just keeps going around and around. That's what I'm getting here. Um, for them, we have strength in reverse and the four of swords in reverse. Another four. I feel like things right now are just feeling very unstable with having all these fours, especially as the challenge and um, this four here being in reverse. So for this person, um, well, first of all, we do have Leo energy showing up. We also have Capricorn showing up, okay, as well as Taurus just to name a few. 
Um, again, it feels like there's either too much pride um, possible on this person's end, or again, just being very, being very firm, being very strong, but in the opposite direction of what they would want. So it's coming across a little bit as stubbornness. And this is actually causing them to feel restless as well. Like there's something here that's not, that's not healthy. It's, it hasn't been healed and it's causing them to hold back. And it, it can come off as them not having compassion or it can come off as them being weak. Or this can even play out as them just being, um, it, it could even appear that they are arrogant, for example, okay? Any of these. Um, coming up, we have the Two of Pentacles. So it, I mean, the Two of Pentacles does talk a little bit about balance, but it can be a little bit hard to really bring things into balance. That's what I'm getting here. It's more of, you know, okay, yeah, trying to find your balance, trying to sort out what's going on within your own self emotionally. Keep in mind, all of this is leading up to a metamorphosis. That's why it's happening. It's meant to happen so that you can find the true balance within yourself. So first we need to be thrown off balance, out of balance, so that then when we do refine that balance, it's actually going to be stronger than before. It's going to be a healthier balance than before. Um, so yeah, it, it does feel like it's still a little bit of trying to figure things out here coming up in the near future. The Hierophant being in reverse for the potential outcome, this could actually mean um, a couple of different things. For some of you, yeah, it definitely could be, you know, the end of a particular commitment. But more than anything, I'm actually getting here, based off of everything else, that this Hierophant is referring to those rules, to that stubbornness releasing that, not having to abide so strictly by my own beliefs, being more open-minded, in other words. So let's actually clarify. Let's see this Four of Pentacles with the Four of Cups. All right, and all we got was the King of Cups in reverse. You know what, and I'm gonna leave it at that. I usually get three for the main situation here, but I think it's pretty clear. Um, yeah, I feel like there's a lot of ups and downs emotionally for, for the both of you, all right? And again, it's because you're both kind of, I don't know if it's like a grudge actually that's being held or it's just each person kind of sticking to their own beliefs very, very rigidly. And this is causing a lot of um, unhappiness for the both of you at the moment. Or if it's not a lot of unhappiness, okay, let's not, we don't need to over-dramatize it. For some of you, it could just be that, you know, it's, it's annoying. It's annoying. It's kind of keeping things in a little bit of a state of conflict and just feeling disappointed, some disappointment with the other person or just with the situation overall. And again, I do feel like, you know, maybe there were some harsh words that were said um, in the past, or maybe somebody cut off the other person kind of abruptly, you know, maybe there was some ghosting or just coldness, not opening up. Let's see what's going on with you here. Let's see the Queen of Cups in reverse. All right, we have the King of Wands in reverse. and the Knight of Cups. Yeah, you know, I feel like there are some emotions that, you, that you're holding on to that you have not fully expressed here. You feel like I, it's almost coming in as you feeling possibly like, well, even if I were to express these emotions, like it just wouldn't lead to anything. Like, but you know, it doesn't matter. You can still express how you feel to somebody or to your own self whether there's going to be a result or not. It's just a matter of that helping you to get it out of your system and to really, you know, being honest with your own self first and foremost. Yeah, I, I'm getting here, there's something here, or you, for some of you, it could be that there's this disappointment because you were expecting that from the other person and they didn't come through. And so that's making you feel, you know, emotionally, um, upset maybe 
because if you were holding back, you know, um, it's like, you know, maybe you were expecting this person to be the one to take that initiative to overcome some kind of an obstacle for them to break through their own wall and come forward to you as this Knight of Cups. And, you know, that too can lead to disappointment, of course, when it doesn't happen. And so I feel like that's throwing you off emotionally as well. Let me see the devil. Yeah, there's a pattern here. There's a pattern here that's been um, happening possibly from quite some time. And it's it's kind of dragging you down. You know, it's making you feel like you, you just can't deal with this anymore. But again, what I'm getting here is that, you know, it's going to be okay. This is part of a metamorphosis that is happening at a very deep, deep level. And so it might not be apparent to you just yet. But this is something that is going to be very clear to you in the future, okay? At the moment, it can feel like, you know, you're just going through um, a very, very tough time. And for a lot of you, I feel like you might not even fu fully understand why. Like, you're just like, why am I even feeling this way? Like, I don't even really want this person, <laughs> you know? Or this person is not for me, so why am I feeling like this? Again, the, there's a reason for this. It's part of the metamorphosis. Let's see what's going on with them. Let's see strength in reverse. All right, we have the Ace of Wands in reverse and the Six of Cups. So yeah, this person is having a lot of nostalgia for you. This person is thinking about you. This person um, misses you if you're not in contact or they miss the way that things were at one point in time. However, they're not taking action on it, okay, with the Ace of Wands being in reverse. They're not taking action on that because as I said, they're being a little bit um, stubborn here, just really holding on to you know their own pride or their own ego is kind of um, taking over and that's keeping them from fully coming forward and expressing themselves to you. All right, let's see that Four of Swords in reverse. All right, the Seven of Cups in reverse and the Queen of Pentacles. All right, it's interesting because this person does hold um, at a deeper level, like they do see you in a very high regard. This is somebody who views you as being um, just very respectable, but they're just holding back. There's ego and it could, that could be the reason why. So it could be that this person is feeling either intimidated or feels like um, they're not as worthy as you. And this is something that needs to be healed within their own self. And I feel like this is becoming clear to them um, just a little bit gradually. I feel like this is a process, a process. And this is part of their own metamorphosis, part of their own transformation. Their, it's their own healing, but it is a process. But I do see them moving in that, in that direction. But again, this person does see you as a person that they could be with long term. But there's something that needs to be healed first within their own self. And I do feel like that's a sense of self-worth so that they don't feel the need to have their ego stand in the way. So that that way they can be more honest and that they can be more transparent when it comes to how they approach you or how they speak to you. For some of them, this could even be a matter of um, status, right? And that could be where pride is getting in the way in specific situations. Um, just holding on really firmly to one's own beliefs, which are which might not even be based in truth. All right, so let's see the Two of Pentacles for the near future. All right, Seven of Swords in Reverse, okay, so, yeah, trying to find a balance with whatever it is that has been either deceptive or sneaking away from something, because I do, again, you know, with this, like, stubbornness or holding back, right, it's avoiding, it's avoiding, 
avoiding a situation, avoiding how I feel, avoiding what it is that I really want to do. And I feel like that is what the struggle is here. All right, coming up in the near future, that is what um, is going to be in the works when it comes to balance and balancing out. Not avoiding our own feelings, um, not having to just sneak away from a situation. We can't just we can't just brush this under the rug and pretend it's not there because it is there. So that is that is what things are moving towards. So let's see the higher end. All right. So we have the, ooh, they're all in reverse, okay. The five of pentacles in reverse, the eight of cups in reverse, and the king of swords in reverse, okay. So when it comes to fully releasing these rigid um, beliefs that, and maybe one of you is doing that more than the other for different reasons, okay, it doesn't really matter, like, but that's just what I'm getting here, kind of like mutually between the two of you. There's this realization that, you know, um, when you when you have this metamorphosis, when you change your beliefs, but at a core level, yes, you lose something. Something is going to be lost. But this Five of Pentacles, it is in reverse. It's like, what is lost, is it's not even all that significant. It doesn't matter if it was not based in truth. And so I do see this um, with this Eight of Cups in reverse, like, not fully wanting to walk away from this connection. I almost see like a coming back, but a coming back in a way where things are going to be less, less rigid, less strict, less, um, um, you know, everybody just wanting to have their own way kind of thing. Like, you know, I'm right. My beliefs are right. I see it, this being as more open-minded, coming back in a more open-minded type of a way, not sticking so strongly to one's own belief system or rules or norms or conformity or whatever. Understanding that it's okay to, you know, release something, allow something to be lost. Values that we thought were important, you know, turns out maybe those aren't so important, but there are other values that are important. So I feel like that's where this connection is um, heading for the both of you mutually actually so yes I do see a some kind of a possible return here okay with this with the eight of cups to this connection in a more flexible way so Aquarius let's see if this resonated the final message we have the full moon eclipse conclusions are within reach yeah, so I do feel like there is a resolution here. There is a resolution. It is a process, all right? Metamorphoses don't happen overnight. And that is going to help with for there to be a conclusion to this um, rigidness or stubbornness, okay, that someone is presenting. All right, Aquarius, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.